Well, the Morgan Plus 8 is finished. The customer is uh, on his way to come and collect it this morning. He's been enjoying his stay in Norfolk. It is raining, very rainy today, but uh, thankfully the weather's been a lot nicer for him while he stayed with us. And I even believe he popped to Yarmouth and managed to catch the air show that was on last weekend. So anyway, back to the Morgan. Uh, obviously 3.9, we've done the Tornado ECU chip. We've done the a &R amplifier. I don't know if you can see it down there and the Bosch coil. It's had Magna Cool plug leads, obviously. We've done some engine detailing on this. The guys in the workshop have done a really nice job on the plenum chamber and the rocker covers. And also, as you've seen via the Facebook uh, photo library, we've done a Piper 270 camshaft, which uh, really opened up the mid-end, uh, mid-rev range. The customer already had some uh, aftermarket manifolds made and a sports cat down there so uh, the exhaust flow was still uh, already perfectly adequate for that steve's been over and done a full setup so that's ignition timing fuel pressure check uh, throttle butterfly making sure that's set correctly uh, base idle throttle position sensor voltage airflow meter co trim and then myself and him go up the road and we actually uh, finalized the ignition timing on the road so what we'll do now is we'll get Richard to jump in the passenger seat, hold the camera and uh, go for a little road test and show you it driving. Right, um, so, it's your first trip out in a Morgan isn't it Richard? It is indeed, yeah. Okay. Very excited. I won't get too excited, it's wet. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, Piper 270 camshafts really made this interesting and fun to drive in the mid-rev range. We'll definitely be taking it steady today because the road's definitely uh, moist. But steady is one thing this car does very, very well still, even with the up, uh, upgraded camshaft. Uh, although it's only the 270 camshaft, which is for us is our mid-range camshaft, we also use a 285, which is slightly higher lift. Um, that all of our camshafts have excellent idling ca characteristics and will still allow the cars to pull fifth gear from like about 15 to 18 miles an hour upwards which we've shown plenty of times before. Um, I think I'll ask Rich just to stop the video here and when the lights turn green we'll start again. Right, the lights are green. Green means go. Um, we've often shown how the cars will drive first gear through to fifth with no accelerator pedal. There's obviously many ways of uh, achieving a low speed in fifth gear. And what we'll do as soon as these uh, cars have passed us is we'll just uh, select first. We'll pull away quite normally. And then just grab fifth. So uh, this is basically the only gear we need for the rest of this video, I think. We can just, uh, just drive in fifth. No problems whatsoever. Okay, so um, we spoke a little bit about the uh, upgrades just at the beginning of this video. So what do they actually do? So obviously the pipe camshaft uh, is a higher lift camshaft, slightly more duration as well, so it's aiming at giving us a little bit more horsepower. Obviously the 3.9 engine has got plenty of torque in a, a lighter two-wheel drive car anyway, so we can substitute a little bit of torque down the bottom end to get some more horsepower through the mid-rev range. We're still on standard cylinder heads and that's why we really selected the 270 camshaft because the 285, although it would give us more horsepower at the top end, the cylinder heads would be reaching their restrictions at about 4,500 RPM. Uh, and again, this isn't a race car, it's just a, a car the customer enjoys driving. I don't actually think he does too many track days either or any at all, so the 270 camshaft is just a really good all-rounder. The uh, 
uh, ignition upgrades we do, obviously the biggest thing there is the RPI amplifier and the MagnaCore plug leads. And what they're doing is um, MagnaCore plug leads are fit and forget. Fit them once, 10 years down the line, they'll still be as good as the day you put them on. That's all right, slow down for that little bump. That bump's a big bump in a Morgan. And the RPI amplifier is um, what gives us that nice, fat, juicy spark. So the bigger spark we get, the more complete combustion you get. So uh, if you imagine the piston going round and round uh, the engine up and down, the, um, if you've got a really weak spark, the combustion of the air and fuel doesn't actually complete until the piston's further down the bore. So if you hit it with a much bigger spark, you're actually uh, getting complete combustion just as the piston goes over TDC, over top dead centre, and you're getting that huge explosion of all your air and fuel mixture in the one moment and uh, getting maximum energy from it. So you're going to get a smoother running engine, far better throttle response, um, better fuel efficiency when you're on cruise, and obviously more power as well. All of those things come from getting a bigger spark. The Tornado ECU chip is uh, on a 3.9, we'd quite often use an Optimax ECU chip, but because obviously we're going for a bit more power in this, the 270 camshaft, the exhaust has already been opened up for better breathing, We've uh, gone for the Tornado chip just to put the fueling in at the top end as well. And uh, that's, that's the fueling at the top end. So with the standard ECU chip in these, they are fueling for a two ton four wheel drive Range Rover. And the Morgan or a TVR or an MGR V8 just doesn't give the load through the airflow meter, which is how the ECU is calculating what fuel to put in referencing to the RPM range that you're in and uh, yeah with a standard Range Rover fuel map in you just don't get that load that it's expecting so the uh, Tornado ECU chip is corrected for the lighter two-wheel drive car and uh, that's what gives us the ultimate driving sort of throttle response that we need um, and the fueling that's correct through all areas which means the car will pull fifth gear from 15 miles an hour or I think the top end on these is about 158 I think in fifth gear or something other we we had in Germany on an autobahn once in our five litre Morgan so uh, yeah chip ignition that's phase one on all of these vehicles and then the camshaft is uh, obviously sort of the next upgrade which this customers decided to do